Okay, so now our shift is going to be toward volcanoes with uh, stations four, five, and six. And um, I want to start with this. They had no idea how volcanoes formed. Um, uh, before plate tectonics, before uh, Alfred Wegener and all of that, they just felt like volcanoes were somehow linked all together and that the center of the earth was this um, fire pit that this ball of fire that then corresponded to these other parts uh, of the world, and they were somehow all complex and connected, and that was just really wrong. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the more we understand about volcanoes and, you know, understand about plate tectonics, the, the simpler it, it, it sort of gets. So we, we understand that either at a convergent boundary or a divergent boundary, wherever you had the mantle uh, or something that's causing so much heat as to melt the crust above it and therefore create an, an opening in the earth to release the heat. So a volcano is basically a cooling vent for the earth. That's all it is. Some can be rather explosive. Yes, some can be very, very dangerous. Some can be on massive scale that can cause climate change for periods of years. This is true. Um, but mainly what we have to understand is that the magma and the type of magma is, in, is what determines the type of volcano that forms. And that's what we're going to get into with this quick discussion.